One of the worst things in the world, bro. One of the worst things in the world is just to be alone. Like, just to feel like you just in this world alone. What's up, YouTube? My name is Hassan El Sadiq, and if you feel alone in the world, you should watch this video. Transparency. This video was filmed in September of 2023. Today is January 6, 2024. I'm finally going to share my real journey of building all dreams. So you have all of these and it is September. All you have to do is just go back right here and count. So easy for them to be able to see and count how many days. I just need to get a job, say fuck creative shit. Just be like everybody else. Fuck trying to do something in the world. Because it won't get you any place. Nobody gives a f when you're old. This, this shit, this shit is so stressful and it's fucking scary. Because I just know that they're gonna, like. Man. Bro. I'm telling you, like, one of the worst things in the world, bro. One of the worst things in the world is just to be alone. Like, just to feel like you just in this world alone. So what's going on world? What's up? This is Hassan. Man, so whew, what's going on in my life right now? I have to document this. It's a very important part. That's what I feel like right now. Like I just feel like I'm just in a world by myself. And my resilience says, man, it's gonna get better. Opportunity if this was built up that that would bring to the city. All of this. My faith says, man, it's like, keep going. Um, but man, like, it's so alone to just be sitting here with this luggage three hours from the time that I'm supposed to board a flight, a hundred dollars in my account, a ticket to New York City, over 30 days overstayed on my visa, which I don't know how much the fine is. And just trying to think back like, yo, was, did I even do good by coming here and doing this? Because this is just such a tedious situation. And to feel so alone. It's like has to be one of the worst things in the world. Just to be alone. Just to feel alone and this and that's just that's just how I feel I just feel like I'm on this earth by myself
Continuing to try to convince myself that this is worth it. Ah, man. Very low point. Very low point. I don't even want to call anyone to ask for help. Like, I, I've asked for help. When you're a grown man, it's just, yo, you're a grown man, that's how it is. That's, how, that's just how it is. Suck it up, buttercup, you know? And I was like, yo, people don't get it. People don't get it. Like that Tom Brady interview, that shit just made so much sense. If I look at that journey from where I was as a kid to where I was as a 22 year old, I had my parents that were in my life to support me every step of the way. I had my junior varsity football coaches that were there every step of the way. I had my throwing coach and mentor Tom Martinez there every step of the way. I went to Michigan, I had Coach Carr challenge me to say, those who stay will be champions. So I stayed. Greg Harden found a way into my life who said, don't worry about all these things are out of your control. Focus on what you can do. Focus on the two reps you got. I had all my teammates that supported me. I had my sisters that supported me. It takes so many people to get to where we get in our life. Yeah, I was there doing some of the work, but couldn't have done it if I didn't have them. It made so much sense because he wasn't the most talented. Six round, pick 199. And like I said, I wasn't the prodigy. Wasn't gifted athletically the most. He did have talent. But what took him over the hump was his supporters and his people that got with him and was with him every step of the way. And I continue to say like, this is why have this burning desire to build all dreams is because I know it has to be people that just feel so lonely. That want to put something in the world but don't have the support. Like, when do you get a chance to, to to redo any of this shit? You don't, you know what I mean? Like, it's just like, you get life, one chance at this shit. So it has to be urgency to support each other's dreams. And why just don't get it, I have no idea. I guess everybody is just living their fucking best life and everybody just has accomplished their dream because it's, because I just can't understand it. Or like, again, like maybe I'm just fucking alone. You know? Sitting here, eleven eighteen. Flight is in three hours, and I'm like, yo, should I get on this flight? Don't have a sign from God. Like these, like these are too heavy. <laughs> like, do I go to the airport with this shit? 
This shit is too heavy. I can't leave this stuff here. This is over 50 pounds. Like, man. How did I get myself into this shit? Knowing. Knowing. That nobody's gonna support me. Knowing this shit. No matter what. And I'll tell you how. It's just having the faith of a mustard seed, just a tiny bit of faith will bring you here to do all of this, thinking, yo, you'll get some type of support in order to keep it going. Man, this world is so f***ed up. This shit is like all about money, all about self. I don't f belong in, I don't belong in this shit, man. I really don't. Cause every single time I get money to do it, I just get that shit right back. And I pay for it dramatically. This is a place for dreamers. Like, it's what I wanted to build, a place for dreamers to come and tell their story. You know? I just think, I'm like, yo, maybe I'm just not the one to do this shit. I don't know. I don't know. But I have to make a decision in, like, a little bit of time. <laughs> 11 22. And I just continue to ask God, like, what do you want me to do? do you want me to do? You want me just to get on a plane with this, this book bag and this and just leave this stuff? I don't know. Just, like, I, I don't know. What do you want? That's what I'm asking. That's like thinking that I'm doing this stuff on purpose. Is to, to do these things. Why am I even here? Okay. Because every play, every time is not going to be f light. Right now, it's just f dark. So I see it's dark, it's dark. dark so much darkness. Not compare myself to nobody else. I've decided. When you're back here, that means you made it through. 
So I made it through and I'm going home. These were my real documented emotions of my last day of being an entrepreneur living in Colombia after working every day to build my business for the past eight months. As entrepreneurs, we have times like this and it's okay. Just don't quit. I can't wait to see my family in the United States. See you guys next time. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and continue to follow this journey.